In the past few episodes of Rick and Morty, Rick has possibly gone through the biggest growth spur in his character development. The nihilistic and sociopathic tendencies that have been on display since the beginning of the series have been switched out for a more passive outlook on life. Who could have seen this coming? Or rather, has this change been a long time coming? To understand this, we need to observe Rick's thought process throughout the season. The first sign of this change came with the introduction of Rick Prime. This is the person that has caused the most pain Rick has ever felt. Prime is the one that puts Rick on the path to becoming the man he is today. There is no troubled backstory for Rick without Prime, and Rick's failure to bring him down is the source of the despair he feels towards himself. The fact that he has not been able to avenge the one person he loved most in this world or their daughter only adds more fuel to his self-torture. With the defeats to Rick Prime and even Evil Morty, all of a sudden, Rick has to come to terms with his reality. He is no longer a person that can skim through anything that comes his way effortlessly, and this realization humbles him, forcing him to reassess his nihilistic way of life. Now that this has happened, he slowly becomes a more compassionate person. He shows his appreciation to Morty in a more well-lived, and goes out of his way to help Jerry when he gets that traumatized in fortune cooking. This marks the start of a promising shift in his mindset and character as a whole, something we see solidified down the line in Analyze Piss when he finally decides to let it all go. He makes that decision when it comes to his attention that engaging with the corny villains that tempt him is the cause of more of them trying to fight him. The effects of this decision is that Rick finally has a chance to reflect on his life, not that he's not preoccupied with all of these goofballs, but he learns that these conflicts are what gives his life meaning. And without all of that action, he becomes bitter, because even though he got what he wanted, he isn't happy. He finally gets people to leave him alone, but instead of that finding him the peace he so desperately desired, it sends him down a spiraling path of wallowing in his own self-pity, which drives him to see things from the perspective of another person he initially didn't even regard, Pissmaster. He feels empathy for the situation that led to the demise of Pissmaster, and does everything he can to fix Pissmaster's family. This decision to help someone without any sort of reward for his own reason is a form of humanity we don't see Rick display much in the series. So when he does it again in the following episode A Rick and King Mortar's Mort, it goes to show how much growth he has experienced this season. Throughout this episode, Rick makes sincere attempts to be more supportive of Morty's choices. When Rick makes the announcement that he's going to be nicer to Morty, Morty doesn't exactly believe him. But we see during the episode that Rick is actually trying to be genuine to Morty. Even in instances that Morty clearly messed up, instead of scolding or blaming him, Rick helps him to correct these mistakes. So Morty begins to ease up to the new version of Rick, and not just him but the family as well. And I don't know how you might see it, but I think this is an evolution in their relationship, and a cool shift in their character dynamics. Maybe just maybe is the beginning of something beautiful. Alas, this is Rick and Morty, and surprise surprise, it turns out that Rick made a robot to be supportive to the family so that he could use his time to hunt down Rick Prime in peace. This revelation shatters Morty and drives the family to their breaking point, where they actually start breaking Robot Rick into many pieces. With this revelation as well, there are a few points we can draw from it. The main one being that hunting Rick Prime is the most important thing in Rick's life, and nothing comes before that, not even character development. Rick makes the decision to create a robot to take his place in the family, and to be 22% more supportive so that he can devote all of his time to what matters the most to him, which is finding Prime Rick. As shallow as it may seem, I think it was the best course of action that he could have taken. He acknowledges the fact that his obsession with finding Prime would have a negative impact on the people closest to him. So he comes up with a solution that would be beneficial to everyone involved. So now he gets to spend all his time on the destructive topic of finding Prime, and the family gets a supportive guardian in the form of Robot Rick. So essentially everyone wins. But I feel people may say that's still shallow and bad because he is technically running away from his responsibilities in the family and negating all the development that he made this season. But you need to understand that this whole thing with the finale happened over the course of two episodes. So everything up until episode 9, our Rick does actually experience it. And I feel like it is because of this that drives him to make the decision to make a robot to replace himself. He knows how dangerous it is, so he doesn't want to involve the rest of the family in it, as they could get caught in the crossfires of his obsessive hunt, and that is completely understandable. He has already lost his real family to this, so why would he then put his next one at risk too? 
The sensible thing to do would be to go through this on his own and hope for the best. But this is Rick and Morty, not just Rick. So of course our boy Morty is going to be tagging along with him for the adventures next season. And I hope the rest of the family can eventually understand where he was coming from when making this decision and forgive him. As for the episode itself as a whole, I would give it 8 stars. And as a finale, I would give it a 7 stars out of 10. It's a befitting end to a solid season. I also can't wait to see how this hunt for Rick Prime will unfold in the next season. And if Evil Morty has anything in store for us. Give me your thoughts on the quality of this season as a whole and how it stacks up against others. How would you also describe Rick's development throughout the season and character as far? And do you think the Smith family are justified in the way they villainized Rick in this episode? Let's have a conversation about that in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and click here if you want to watch a video on whether season 6 redeemed the series. And click over here if you want to watch the depressing realization of modern cartoons. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon content. I'll see you next time. Tune out.